So when it comes to housing at Worcester, there are actually a lot of different options available. Um, as a first year student, you don't have access to most of them. Uh, you get randomly assigned a residence hall um, with other first year students. Um, and you also get randomly assigned a roommate. You can't request a roommate. Um, you do take a typical kind of roommate type dating quiz where you answer questions about how loudly you play your music, when you go to bed, how neat or uh, messy you are. Um, and I will say that they do a really good job pairing students up. There's actually a higher turnover rate um, for upperclassmen than there is for freshmen, which means that more upperclassmen are requesting room changes um, than first years do. So either admissions or res life, excuse me, is, is doing a really good job pairing students or we just suck at picking people to live with. Um, I'm not entirely sure which it is, could be a mixture. Um, but the point is, uh, freshman roommates do work out really well. Um, as an upperclassman, you have a lot of different options um, available to you. So it works on kind of a lottery system. So you get a random number every year that decides when you get to pick your, your room. Um, we have traditional residence halls. Um, so those are singles, doubles, triples, shared bathroom, shared lounge, basically what you'd expect. Um, we have suites. So suites are two rooms connected by a bathroom. Um, we also have pods. So pod style living is a bunch of different rooms connected by a shared like living room type space and uh, a shared kitchen. Um, we also have uh, language suites. So if you're interested in speaking only a language or learning a language, you can live there. We have Greek, Russian, or Greek and Latin, sorry, classics, um, Russian, French, German, Mandarin, Spanish, basically whatever you want. Um, and there's usually a graduate student or a recently graduated student from that country there to kind of facilitate that culture exchange. And our last kind of big option um, for housing are our program houses. So those, those change year to year depending on what students are interested in, but they're all owned by the college, they're all on campus, and they're all intended to serve the greater Worcester community. Um, so we have one that works with the Goodwill in Worcester uh, to do clothing donations and fundraisers. We have another that works with the Girl Scouts Association in Worcester. Um, they do fundraisers. Uh, they bring Girl Scouts to campus to sell cookies, which is fantastic, but a little dangerous because you walk out of your room and there are Girl Scouts selling you cookies on the street. Um, and we have one that sends a different group of students down to a local church every day to pass out uh, free meals to those who need it. So there are a lot of different options for housing once you get past your freshman year here.